All right, now finally, let's go ahead and try to fix the problem that whenever we refresh our page, it kind of logs us out. So how do we fix that problem? Well, whenever we refresh the page, what's going on is that the global state is stored in memory. So that memory is cleared and it kind of resets back to where we were, which is, is logged in to be false. And that is causing our menu to also behave different way because the menu is taking the values or is depending on the global state. So we need to make sure that our, even if we refresh, our global state is set correctly. So inside the index.js, what we're going to do is, even though we're refreshing, the token that is in local storage is not really going anywhere. It still exists. So I can go ahead and get that token. So just because we are refreshing doesn't mean that the token is going away. That is inside the local storage of the browser and that is going to stay there until you manually remove it. So local storage dot get item. We will go ahead and get the item. Then we can go ahead and set the authentication headers because those are also getting cleared. Uh, these are the authentication headers used by Axios. So these were, we also need to set them up again if the person is actually refreshing the page or accidentally refreshing the page. And finally, we want to perform a dispatch to change the global state based on the token, right? So we want to go ahead and make sure that the person is logged in or not. So how do we do that? Well, we can perform a store.dispatch. And in the store.dispatch, we can say type. So what type of things that we are doing over here in the reducer? Let's check it out. What we're doing is logged in. So that's the only thing we're doing in the reducer. So we're going to go ahead and pass in the type is logged in. All right. Now we're not really passing any extra payload. We're just calling is logged in. We can go ahead and pass an extra payload or we can check if the token actually exists. Then we call that particular dispatch to happen. And there we go. That should take care of most of your issues. Now let's go ahead and get started with clearing our application state. So we're gonna start with nothing. Let's go ahead and refresh. So you can see currently the menu it's showing login. We are on the login page. If I try to access the accounts, I can't. It's protected. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and enter a username and password, the token is created. And I am currently, I can go to the account screen. All right. Now, if I go ahead and go to the account screen and refresh, you can see that it's still I am logged in, so it's not clearing it up. And the reason is that every time that you refresh the page, it is going to fire is logged in, which is a dispatch that we're doing right there, which is inside the index.js. So this is, this, me, this is meaning that even though we are refreshing the page, the token is still exists in the local storage, and by using the token, we are able to make sure that we are actually logged in. Now, if you want to log out, you simply clear the token. I mean, clear the local storage and remove the JSON web token from the local storage. And that is going to make sure that you are logged out. Also, when you're logging out, you need to make sure that you fire set authentication header and you pass in null. If you pass in null, then the token will also be cleared from the authentication header for the XCS. So there you have it. Now you have built a complete app which performs a JSON web token authentication using React, using Redux, and using, we also use the protected routes on the client side using the higher order functions.